Welcome to training day two. We're going to learn about the five places to flourish. The first one is the ascender and descender stem loops, T crossbars, capital letters, the entrance and exit strokes, and also the mid-word flourishings even without the stem loops. Does it mean you have to flourish in all these five areas every time? No, it really depends on what kind of style and look that you're looking for. All right, we're going to examine it one by one. In styling your flourishing, there's no right or wrong. As long as you follow the three building blocks that we've learned yesterday on the day one, then it's all good. Now, what you have to decide after that is the look and feel that you want to present. So for an example, we have a simple phrase here, it's happy birthday, and we want to explore different styles that we can create with these words. So the first style, we want to make it look light and airy. Let's take a look at this example. It's all written in lowercase just to make it look light and casual, not heavy at all. I just put the entrance flourish as simple as this one and the ending flourish which matches the entrance stroke. So this both matches. And not to forget between the words, small ending stroke and the small entrance stroke. And to make it look more style, we can create this entrance H stroke, crossing the T, make it loop, and then there you go. It's pretty light and airy. Not too much going on, not too many loops, not too heavy capital letters. This still look really resembles light and simple and airy. So the second style that we want to aim for is simple and elegant. What does it mean? Simple means there's not too many loops going on but it still has some nice flourishing. The simple and elegant style usually just includes one or two big loops all around just to make sure that it doesn't really distract the audience from the message. As we can see, there's a big loop, big entrance loop here, and then another big loop at the capital B, and then a simple ending flourish. With the ligature of the H for the simple and elegant, I usually like doing this. Um, so start from here, going on, all around, and then stop here. So it's a big overlook compared to the light and airy it's, a, um, it's more like an S stroke. This stroke com conveys a feeling of flowy and airy compared to these oval loops, which more like copper plate flourishing. I love simple and elegant style so much that I usually use in my paintings. I want to show you one of the examples. This is my uh, one of my paintings. As you can see that these flourishes are simple and just few big loops all around. The big loops here for the, for the capital letter and then the exit stroke, entrance stroke, exit, entrance, and exit, entrance, and exit. So the, these are not intricate loops with tiny tiny inner inner loops or other complicated loops because I want to make this style looks nice and elegant and simple and doesn't really distract the message all right let's recap on these two styles the first style the light and airy has flourishing in the ascender stem loops Entrance stroke 
an ending stroke. For the second example, we put the flourishing in the entrance stroke, ending stroke, the capital letters, and also the ascending stem loops. All right, so you don't have to flourish in five areas every time. Let's move on to the second page. So this particular style, I want to make it look bold and graceful. It has slightly more loops rather than the previous ones, but I still want to make it look elegant and graceful. How do we do that? Don't forget to keep in mind the three building blocks that we learned yesterday and we can put more flourishing in those um, areas that we learned before. So we have flourishing in the capital letters and even the capital letters itself extends itself to the bottom and then there's an entrance stroke I don't know what it's called, extended um, capital flourishing, and a double, and the double letters, the P here, and at the descender stem loops, which intersects other letters, and also the ligature TH here, before we only stop right here, but in this case we can extend up. And lastly, the descending stem loops is a little more varied. Up, go down, there. This is hotspot, so please avoid that. So in recap, we have capital letters, entrance stroke, exit stroke, descending stem loops, and ascending stem loops. And lastly, the middle, the midward flourishing. This happy right here is, is, is in the middle of the word and extended and creating that, that loops to create that balance. Okay, that's the third style. I hope it's not too complicated for you to understand, but please let me know if it's too difficult to understand then maybe I can explain to you a little bit more. And so the last one is the ornamental. And I want to make the feeling of this ornamental look joyful. So as we can see at, at, at the example, this flourishes, looks like fireworks, feels like going to that direction, and just so uplifting and happy to look at. At a glance, this looks complicated, but, but it's actually not. It just consists of U shapes, C shapes, and S shapes. It's just the, this shape, the U shape, um, and then the S shape, and then the C shape. This is the she shape. So this is the she shape. This is the S shape, another S with the U shape, oops, another U shape, U shape, U shape, double U shape, U shape, U 
and some other ornamental drawings like leaves and ferns and also little stars. These dots right here is like that. So this particular style doesn't really follow the rules of five places to flourish. It's just a style that I want to show you that you can create with with simple strokes of flourishing so that you can create so many styles and so many creations. Be open, be creative in what you can create. Congratulations! You've made it halfway of the training. So now if you've learned about the level of details of flourishing and it really depends on what kind of look and feels that you want to achieve. I have another fun exercise for you. Please download the worksheet and just try your best. Don't stress it out. Remember that we strive for progress, not perfection. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow for the flourishing drills.